Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today I will explain cooling water treatment. What types of impurities are available on cooling water and uh, how is possible to reduce this impurities percentage. So in the cooling water system normally four types of impurities are available. One is called dissolved impurities second one is undissolved impurities and third one is dissolved gases and fourth one is others others mean oil grease acid and microorganisms so in the cooling tower normally these four types of impurities are available so these four types of impurities are need to remove so for these four types of impurities what types of problem happen or possible to happen corrosion if in the water oxygen and carbon dioxide are available dissolved gases dissolved gases means oxygen and carbon dioxide in, if in the water dissolved gases that means oxygen and carbon dioxide are available available that time possible to corrosion how it will be corrupt, corrupted you think oxygen oxygen is oxygen and carbon dioxide if carbon dioxide react with water what will create it will create carbonic acid H2CO3. So if carbon dioxide react with water, it will create carbonic acid. If carbonic acid H2CO3 broken, what will create H2 and carbonic? That means positive and negative ion will be created. That means in the water electron are present if in the water electron present then what will happen that time corrosion will happen okay. how it will happen normally tubes are made by iron so in this iron also have electron if on the water also electron available so that time it will be oxidized how it will oxidize in this iron have two electron two electron it will give to the hydrogen if these two electron provide to hydrogen H2 plus plus 2 electron I provide what will happen hydrogen hydrogen react with oxygen what will create water create this is the tube okay this is the tube this tube have iron electron this if this electron release do this iron will be free if iron react with hydroxide to hydroxide what will create okay if iron react with hydrogen this reaction will happen if this f f e o h what will create so this is called rust by this way this tube will be corroded so that's why need to provide corrosion inhibitor so that's why need to provide corrosion inhibitor and if in the water present dissolved impurities that means calcium sulfate dium sulfate magnesium carbonate these are salt if these impurities present on the water what will happen it will go to the condenser tube and it will deposit on the tube and tube will be blocked so first one is corrosion what types of problem happen one is corrosion corrosion second one is scaling scaling when scaling happen 
If in the cooling water present dissolved impurities, that means calcium carbonate, magnesium sulphate, sodium sulphate, it will go to the condenser and deposit because it is salt and deposit on the condenser. If it is deposit on the condenser tube, condenser tube will be blocked. For controlling scaling, you have to provide scale inhibitor. And third number is third number is fouling. If in the water present suspended solid, suspended solid, that time what will happen? Suspended impurities, it will go to the condenser and it will create fouling. For controlling the fouling, you have to provide dispersion. You have to provide dispersion solution. If you provide dispersion solution, this charge will be increased. Surface charge will be increased. If surface charge will be increased, it will not accumulate it. It will always maintain distance. If it will maintain distance, so that time it will not accumulate it on the tube. So for controlling fouling, you have to provide dispersion. And fourth number is, fourth problem is microbiological growth. Because if in the cooling water present bacteria, so that time also possible to fouling, algae possible to fouling. For controlling this bacteria, for killing this bacteria, yeah, we are providing biocide. In the cooling water system, for killing the bacteria, you have to provide biocide. So normally two types of biocide are available. One is non-oxidized biocide, another is oxidized biocide. So biocide, how it is working, I will give explanation. We are providing chlorine as a oxidized biocide. Because if we not provide chlorine, this bacteria will be increased. If bacteria more increase, that time also possible fouling and algae. Maybe you have seen in the cooling tower, basin side or tube side, some algae are present. If this algae present, that time water flow will be decreased. That's why we, you have to provide chlorine. If we provide chlorine, how it will kill the bacteria? Now I will give explanation. Because in the cooling water, have bacteria. For living bacteria required nutrient, required, required food. So if this bacteria get food from the water, that time bacteria will be increased. If this bacteria increase, that time fouling happen. So for controlling this bacteria, for killing this bacteria, we have to cut this bacteria food. This is the bacteria. So in the bacteria, one is outer cell, another is inner cell. So this outer cell, this is outer cell, outer cell, and this is inner cell. This inner cell, it is called membrane. Oxidized biocide kill the bacteria outer cell. If bacteria outer cell kill, that time bacteria will not take food. If this bacteria will not take food, that time bacteria will be dry. And non-oxidized biocide kill the membrane. If inner membrane, inner cell, membrane kill, that time also bacteria cannot take food. If bacteria cannot take food, that time also bacteria will be die. By this way, two types of biocide are provided on the cooling water system. So one is called non-oxidized, another is called oxidized. As a oxidized, we are providing chlorine. If we provide chlorine, how it will kill the bacteria? Now I will give this explanation. If I provide chlorine, chlorine react with water and it will create hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid, H-O-C-L, hypochlorous acid available oxygen. This oxygen this oxygen react with outer cell. If oxygen available, that time oxidization will happen. This hypochlorous acid change the environment. So for changing this environment, this bacteria will not get food. By this way, this is this bacteria will be die. Another thing, in hypochlorous acid, available oxygen. Bacteria outer cell release the electron and bacteria 
strength will be come down and slowly slowly this bacteria will be die by this oxidization and another thing for this reaction you have to maintain this cooling water ph more than 5 more than 5 if less than 5 that time if you provide chlorine reaction will not happen so for proper reaction you have to maintain this cooling water ph more than 5 normally 7.5 to 8.5 is it is better for the chlorine reaction ph more than 8.5 that time also reaction some problem happen because if hypochloric acid hypochloric acid more ph will create hydrogen ion plus hypochlorite ion so hypochlorite hypochlorite ion is strength less than hypochlorous acid ion because it is more than 80 percent strong than hypochlorite hypochlorite ion so if ph more that time also problem if ph less less the ph less than 7 that time also possible to corrosion so that's why in the cooling tower need to maintain ph 7.5 to 8.5 now i will explain what is frc f r c what is the meaning of frc what is the frc frc means free available residual chlorine free available residual chlorine in the cooling water system you are providing chlorine but how much chlorine you are providing or chlorine in the cooling water system chlorine available or not how will you know this that's why you have to take lab result laboratory result after getting laboratory result you can find out you can find out in this water chlorine are present if free available residual chlorine frc are available on the cooling water that time you can understand that time you can confirm this chlorine dosing is okay and this side chlorine reaction are happening so normally free residual chlorine you have to maintain less than 0.5 ppm 0.2 to 0.3 3 ppm it is standard so viewers in my next class i will explain cooling water range approach and cooling tower efficiency so viewers if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and like my videos and share to your friend so I hope it will be helpful for all.